Hello again, everyone on YouTube. This is Louis Anna Trans, aka LM25, aka Louis JM. And I'm gonna do something a little different. Now, normally I w in this video, I would show you like a little arcade nook from one place or one to another, but now I think I gotta show you something a little homage of an arcade in a way based around a candy dispenser. Now, I was in some place called uh, Tokyo. Pop, I believe it was. It's somewhere in the New York Village. I, I, I should put up a link just to show, show of what they have. But anyways, within the area, they had like um, two different candy dispensers, based around arcade games. Two classic arcade games, nonetheless. And I'm gonna show, show it to you right now, since, because I bought it and I think, think it's pretty unique. So, why do we even begin? Okay, so basically, I have, this is my room. A little bit of a mess, but whatever. Just nothing out of the ordinary. But right here, you can see the two arcades in between the Hatsune Miku, um, Hatsune Miku figuring. <laughs> kind of a cute one at, at that. So let's show you. The, let's show you. First one here is the Pac-Man one. You can see by the look of the artwork and how it looks. And along the inside, um, let me give you a little light to give you a clear example. Sorry if it's a little blurry on this end. So basically, it's just one of those regular type of arcade games that you see around here. So, yeah, base, basically kind of cool. And the next one, of course, is the Space Invaders. Again, interesting arcade, arcade cabinet design. Even though it's a bit of a candy dispenser, it's kind of cool the way how they put it together. Now the question is, how do you unlock it? Well, it's kind of simple, really. Let me just get the two out of the way, just so you can um get a good look. Uh, so basically, you might think it could be from the top, but actually, you have to do it from the bottom, like this. And of course, inside you got actual little candies. Now, basically, it d depends on the flavor. Like these Space Invaders, they're pretty much apple based. Anyway, you can see I've already eaten because I closed the top off a little bit. Same thing goes with the uh, Pac Man. You open from the bottom. And right here, you got another array of candies. I can just get them out. Here we go. Now these candies look exactly like the Pac-Man icons. <laughs> I think the taste was lemon or something. I can't even tell. I think the box, back the box, describe it. If there is something I'm at in the back, but whatever the case, it does have a. Hey, the candies are good and and it does and it's very presentable. But by the way, they have been placed inside these. Arcade cabinets. Let me just fix this so it will stay tight. So, um, quick look at the two. As you can see, pretty, pretty impressive for a bunch of cane dispensers, and the way they presented it in an arcade, in an arcade style. Very original. So I think that just about wraps it up for the um, tour. Well, not tour in precise, but anyways, just want to show off some two interesting figurines. Let me just take it back up upstairs. Now I might be thinking about eating eating the rest, just just to make it look like interesting display. Same goes with another one, which is like the Power, Power Nintendo mints, which. Basically, after dinner mints in a way. I had it in a couple of restaurants, so. Just want to make them all displayed like. So, I think it's all cool. So, I think that's about wraps it up for the uh, video. Hope you all enjoyed. The Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys later on.